Okay guys, this is Florida Days RV Park in Hobie Sound, Florida. South Florida, the rates to rent at this RV park are $550 a month for the basic sites, which are to my right, which are a little bit dingy, and the bigger sites are $575 a month. If you stay more than a couple days, meaning if you stay month to month, electric is billed separately. So these sites here to my left and right are the $550 a month sites. If you stayed here long term if, or if you lived out of here. Um, so it's pretty reasonable. There's a state park up the street and um, uh, that's about $30 a night and you can't stay more than two weeks uh, without leaving and then coming back. So let's take a look at the uh, bigger sites here that are very uh, nice in my opinion for $575 a month. Uh, if you wanted to be a long-term stayer or a couple months, uh, I'm sure in the height of the season, which is uh, December, January, February, March, these are pretty packed. So this is um, a nice, uh, seems to be safe. Uh, every time I've been around this area, RV park for very cheap South Florida rates, especially being that they do not jack these rates up in the winter which many people, many RV parks do. Uh, they do have showers and a laundry facility on site. Um, it's a small, quaint park, not much to it, okay? Uh, but it's a place to uh, have full utility hookups for under $600 a month. And to be close to uh, South Florida, you're probably about an hour and a half to two hours away from Miami. Uh, probably about the same thing away from Orlando, but you're about five minutes away from the beach. You're right next to Jupiter, Florida, which is a beautiful area. And, um, you know, I think it's just another option, okay, if you were a full time nomad or a traveler or a snowbird. Uh, look up Florida Days in Hobie Sound, Florida. Hobie Sound, Florida, again, is just north of Jupiter, Florida, just south of Stewart, Florida. Technically, I believe it's in Martin County, which is the Treasure Coast uh, area. So we'll do a loop around. I see older RVs, newer RVs, but I would say mainly the average RV here is probably about 7 to 12 years old. Uh, this is the railroad tracks here. Uh, but it's a, a safe area, uh, you know, for the most part. I don't see, uh, I haven't never seen any like high crime in this area or, or things like to worry about. I think you'd be safe overall. It's close to shopping, uh, supermarkets, etc. Highway uh, Route 1, Highway 1 is right next to this. That's what I turned on. So from this perspective, you get a little bit better view of the sites. And um, to the right, is just open land. I don't know if they're going to redevelop this land. It's been barren for a while. So you know, if you got a if you got a lot on this side, you know, you'd pretty much have no neighbors to the opposite side of the street if you wanted a little bit more privacy. So let me see if too if I could turn this. Yeah, maybe give that would give you a little bit better perspective. So again, five hundred and seventy-five dollars a month. Uh, electric not included if you're going to stay more than a month for these nicer sites that are a little bit bigger and have a little bit more privacy. Where I first drove in, again, $550 a month. So in my opinion, for $25 extra, uh, as long as you can get uh, one of these sites, as long as there's availability, um, I think this is another cheap way to live, you know, because the average rent in America is $1,200 a month, um, and that uh, may or may not include utilities. Now, but yes, this is an RV park. <clears throat> yes, you still have to have an RV. Um, and you know, obviously if you're raising a family, I don't know if you'd want to live here, but you could. I'm, there looks like there's maybe some permanent residence. So I'm not saying it's necessarily this luxury lifestyle. What I'm saying is it's another um, way where you safely and legally can live the nomadic life, whether you use this as a temporary place or a semi long term place or whatever it may be. And you know, you're cheap. Uh, you're under a thousand dollars a month. Uh, your five hundred and seventy-five dollars a month is cheap, electric not included. And you know you got shower, you got laundry. I'm not sure about Wi-Fi. You're close to amenities. You're close to nice parts of South Florida. 
And I think this guy used to have a YouTube channel, actually. I saw a couple videos of him. He must still be here. He's an older guy, retired. But that is it, Florida days um, in Hobie Sound, Florida. And I uh, just want to give you another option as I travel around Florida and I give you some perspective. I'll turn back in here one more time. This, again, was um, the sites that are $550 a month which are pretty much right next to each other and uh, not much. Yeah, I wouldn't want these sites. I would want the 575 ones. So either way, guys, uh, give you another option. Uh, click the subscribe button. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the blue join button if you'd like to support the channel. Check out my playlist. I'll see you guys in the next video. Give you more information, more entertainment. This is Route 1 here. To the left is Route 1 South. That will take you to Jupiter, Florida. To the right uh, is Route 1 North, which will take you up to Stewart and Jensen Beach. So you see you are close to pretty much wherever you want to go. Um, West Palm Beach Airport is probably about 45 minutes or so away from here. So um, a lot to be said for the location and for the cost. Um, and again, relatively a good area, I would say. So thank you again for watching. Gratitude to all my members. I hope my videos uh, encourage, inspire, and inform you in some way and make your life better. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.